AMD is crushing Intel on Germany's Mine Factory total CPU sales charts, claiming over a staggering 80% of the sales. Meanwhile, leaks reveal exciting details about Gigabytes and Asus's upcoming B850 and B840 motherboards for Ryzen 9000 CPUs. But it's not all smooth sailing for AMD, as reports show the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D CPU uses a non-functional thick silicon that compromises over 80% of the CCD. Plus, rumors are swirling that the RX 7900 GRE might soon be discontinued. In today's video will dive into all the latest AMD news and leaks so stick around because you don't want to miss anything. Welcome back to LA Electronics, your ultimate destination for the latest and greatest in PC tech news and leaks, especially when it comes to GPUs and CPUs. If you're serious about staying ahead of the curve, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you're always in the loop. Also, be sure to follow me on X where I post everything first before going in depth in the videos. In today's video, we're diving into some massive AMD news. AMD is absolutely dominating Intel on Germany's Mind Factory CPU sales charts, claiming over a staggering 80% of the sales, which is an incredible feat. We'll also uncover leaks about Gigabytes and Asus's upcoming B850 and B840 motherboards designed for the Ryzen 9000 CPUs. But it's not all good news for AMD as the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D CPU reportedly uses non-functional thick silicon, compromising more than 80% of the CCD. Plus, we'll discuss the hot rumor that the RX 7900 GRE might be discontinued. There's a lot to break down, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Intel's Arrow Lake CPUs have had a rough start with launch performance falling far short of Intel's own marketing promises. Unsurprisingly, this has led to abysmal sales globally. Meanwhile, AMD is absolutely crushing it, dominating Intel on Germany's Mind Factory CPU sales charts. Tech Epiphany on X shared some jaw-dropping stats. AMD Ryzen CPUs have claimed an astounding 93.26% of all CPU sales on Mind Factory over the past three weeks in Germany. This translates to 15,285 Ryzen CPUs sold, while Intel scraped by with a meager 6.74% market share, selling only 1,105 processors. The numbers get even worse for Intel when you consider that most of their sales are still coming from older 13th and 14th gen CPUs using the LGA1700 socket. As for the latest Core Ultra 200S Arrow Lake processors, they sold a laughable 120 units. And that's it. Compare that to AMD's 11,160 Zen 5 and Zen 4 units, and you can see just how far behind Intel Intel is falling in Germany. When we dive into individual sales, AMD's Ryzen 5 7600X 3D leads the pack with 2,740 units sold, followed by the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D at 2,050 units and the Ryzen 5 7500F with 1,030 units. The first Intel CPU to even make the list is the Core i5 14600KF, which sits all the way down in 28th place with only 90 units sold. And for Arrow Lake Pro, processors, you might ask? It's a complete disaster. The Core Ultra 7 265K sold just 50 units, the Core Ultra 9 285K only 20 units, and the Core Ultra 5 245K another 20 units. What do you think about Intel's dismal performance on Mine Factory in Germany? Do you think it's just because Arrow Lake processors are just too new, or is it because of all the problems they had at launch? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And don't go anywhere because we're diving into the latest leaks about Gigabytes and Asus's B850 and B840 motherboards for Ryzen 9000 CPUs followed by shocking details about the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D's non-functional thick silicon and the rumored discontinuation of the RX 7900 GRE. Stay tuned because you don't want to miss any of it. If you're loving the content and want to help keep it coming, consider buying me a coffee. Your support fuels each video, whether it's the latest tech news, detailed repair guides, or honest reviews. Every coffee you buy goes right back into the channel, helping me upgrade gear, improve the setup, and stay energized to bring you the best in PC tech news and leaks. Whether it's one coffee or a few, each $5 brew makes a huge difference and I can't thank you enough for keeping this channel going strong. Your support truly means everything to me. Several Gigabyte and Asus B850 and B840 motherboards have been leaked, giving us an exciting preview of their designs, features, and form factors. A total of 8 models have surfaced, showcasing what's in store for AMD's AM5 platform. Gigabyte's lineup includes Aorus, Eagle, and Gaming Series, while Asus brings ROG Strix, Tough, and Prime boards to the table. AMD's 
800 series motherboards have already seen the launch of the X870 and X870e with Ryzen 9000 CPUs, and now we're expecting the rest of the lineup to debut as we approach 2025 and CES. A leaker on X shared images of these boards and their packaging, revealing key details, so let's bring it down. Gigabyte is launching 5 models, all based on the B850 chipset. These include the B850 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 Black, the B850 Aorus Elite Wi-Fi 7 White, the B850 i Aorus Pro, the B850 Eagle Wi-Fi 6E, and the B850 Gaming Wi-Fi 6. The Aorus series boards cater to the mid-range market offering two color themes for the Elite Wi-Fi 7 models. These boards are expected to rival Asus's RO Strix B850 boards in features and performance. Meanwhile, the Eagle and Gaming models are positioned as budget-friendly options with Wi-Fi 6 and 6E connectivity and more modest designs. Judging by the photos, these boards prioritize affordability over premium features. Expect all these Gigabyte B850 motherboards to debut at CES 2025. Let me know what you think about Gigabyte's B850 boards in the comments down below. Next, let's see what Asus has to offer. They will release three models, which are the Asus ROG Strix B850A Gaming Wi-Fi, the Asus Tough Gaming B850 Plus Wi-Fi, and the Asus Prime B840M ACSM. The ROG Strix B850A Gaming is a mid-range standout with Gen 5 and Gen 4 speed on its PCIe slots, 4 DIMM slots, 4 M.2 ports, and a striking white PCB and RGB lighting. On the other hand, the Tough Gaming B850 Plus Wi-Fi offers a more budget-friendly black design, featuring 2 PCIe by 16 slots, 2 M.2 ports, and smaller heat sinks. For entry-level builders, the Prime B840 MACSM offers Gen 3 speeds, 4 DIMMs, 2 M.2 slots, and a compact micro ATX form factor. Expect these motherboards to also debut at CES 2025. What do you think of Gigabyte and Asus's motherboards? Let me know in the comments down below. And stay tuned as we still have to discuss the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D's non-functional thick silicon, rumored to compromise over 80% of the CCD, as well as the potential discontinuation of the RX 7900 GRE. Trust me, you don't want to miss anything, so stay tuned. The AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D is redefining gaming performance, taking the spotlight with its innovative design and incredible capabilities, building on the groundbreaking 3D vCache technology introduced with the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. AMD has made a bold architectural change that's transforming how 3D stacking works. Unlike previous X3D chips where the 3D chiplet sat atop the core complex die or CCD, for direct access to extra L3 cache, the 9800X 3D places the 3D chiplet underneath the CCD. This seemingly small tweak has led to significant improvements like lower operating temperatures, enhanced reliability, and most notably the ability to unlock overclocking potential, with base clocks hitting 4.7 GHz, but while the results are impressive, the CCD design of the 9800X 3D has a fascinating and somewhat unusual story. Semiconductor analyst Tom Wasik, sorry if I mispronounced that name, revealed that most of the silicon on the CCD is essentially non-functional, but its purpose is critical. The CCD and SRAM layers are thin, measuring just 7.2 micrometers and 6 micrometers respectively, and the total die stack is only 4 to 45 micrometers thick. However, the entire CCD measures an impressive 800 micrometers, meaning a staggering 93.75% of the stack is just silicon, and all of it's non-functional, except it's all about structural integrity and protection. Thin SRAM and CCD layers are fragile and susceptible to damage during manufacturing or handling. The thick dummy silicon layer resolves this issue, reinforcing the stack and ensuring durability. Additionally, the SRAM silicon extends by 50 micrometers on both sides, further improving stability. So I guess you could say the function of the silicon is for protection, but still, it serves no function to the performance or cooling of the CCD. This redesigned CCD isn't just about structural improvements though, as it's about solving key challenges too. By positioning the SRAM underneath the CCD, AMD has created a solution that ensures direct cooling of the cores and enhances the reliability of the entire 3D die stack. This level of engineering highlights AMD's commitment to innovation and performance. What do you think about AMD's use of this use of silicon to ensure durability. Also share your thoughts on AMD dominating Intel and CPU sales and the Gigabyte and Asus B850 and B840 motherboards. Stick around as we're diving into the rumor of AMD discontinuing the RX 7900 GRE next and you don't want to miss any of the details. The Radeon RX 7900 GRE or Golden Rabbit Edition made waves when it debuted in 2023 for the Chinese market and expanded globally in early 2024. Positioned between the RX 7800X 
XT and RX 7900 XT. It used a cut down Navi 31 die with a narrower 256 bit bus width compared to the 320 bit bus on the RX 7900 XT. While at 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM, 5120 shaders and 260 watt TBP made it a compelling choice. Its performance was closer to the RX 7800 XT competing well with Nvidia's RTX 4070 at launch. Unfortunately, the RX 7900 GRE's lifespan appears to be nearing an early end. Despite being available for just over a year, reports from tweakers indicate the GPU is vanishing from markets worldwide. In the European market, only one model remains available and it's made by Asus, but stock is extremely limited. When asked, Asus mentioned that they don't expect more units from AMD. The situation is mirrored in North America, where major retailers like Amazon, Newegg, Walmart, and Best Buy are either out of stock or selling open box units at inflated prices, often close to $1,000, which is far from the RX 7900 GRE's original MSRP of $550. This scarcity suggests the RX 7900 GRE may soon disappear entirely, a process happening without any official acknowledgement from AMD. The impending launch of the RDNA 4 based Radeon RX 8000 series GPUs at CES 2025 featuring Navi 44 and Navi 48 dies may explain this shift. While it's common for GPUs to phase out, the RX 7900 GRE looks set to vanish even before AMD's RX 6000 series has fully exited the market. The RX 7900 GRE will remain covered under warranty and will continue to receive driver support. If you've been considering this GPU, securing one now will be increasingly difficult with the future being even harder and probably impossible. What are your thoughts on the RX 7900 GRE's early exit from the market? Also share your views on AMD dominating Intel and CPU sales, the B850 and B840 motherboards from Gigabyte and Asus, and the fascinating use of the dummy silicon on the Ryzen 7 Dandy 800X 3D. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button as it really helps the channel. Want to dive deeper into AMD's dominance over Intel? Check out my previous video by clicking the card in the top right corner where I break down Amazon's top 50 best-selling CPUs and reveal exactly how AMD is crushing Intel on those charts. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.